good aardvark. Michael Jackson glove has made another appearance. Um, and, uh, yeah, sunny day. Did a braid last night? Wait, braid last night. Except it's really uneven. I'm gonna get this glove off. Glove. Glove situation. Right, so, like, look at this, like, hair. That's just. This just not in the braid. This is annoying me. Usually I would redo it, but in confinement, when like literally no one that I know is gonna see me, I don't care. I truly do not care. But, oh, going into a dark kitchen. Yeah. On the, on the docket for today. You don't know what this is? It's a uh, pre-made croissants. It's like Pillsbury cinnamon rolls, but croissants. Uh, usually the kind that I get has little like chocolate bars to go in it, but those are all sold out. So I just got the plain kind. I love plain croissants though, so that's fine. So these are a lot longer than I was expecting. I was expecting to be like half size. So this is kind of exciting. Okay, let me see if I can do this all one-handed. Peel you off. Lock you to the side. Please don't stick to yourself. Okay. Eh. Eh. I'm afraid I'm gonna rip it. Oh god. Oh, this is a mess. All right. Uh. Start at the edge. Oh goodness. Oh wow. This perforation is um. Not very generous. Come on. Just just split like nicely. Just do it nicely. I'm talking to croissant dough. That's normal. That's what you do on day, what, 42 of quarantine? It's underneath that. That's fine. Okay. So, it says... Da -da -da -da, uh, da -da, uh, roll without cutting a triangle toward the point. Okay. Okay. So, let's see. Um, I don't want there to be too much air in between. So, just... Wee! Okay. Da -da. And then just kind of plunk. I'll do it again. Here we go. Place it here, and then just initial, initial little guide fold, and then see if I can do it all in one. <laughs> I have to go all the way to my elbow. That's fun. I like making my own croissants without all like the lamination and work. All right. It says to like brush with a little bit of milk. Um, I don't want to pour out, like, milk just for a little, like, brush amount. Can I get this in here? Wait. No, it's not. Okay, wait, I've got a smaller one. Does it? Oh, God, this is going to be a nightmare. There's milk on it. No, this isn't working. Okay, I have these, I honestly don't know what they are. Saucers? Something? Well, there's, but they're just enough to pour out a little bit of milk. Okay. We gonna just have a little... Pastry brush party. Wee. Deli Wait, no shadowing. Wee. I don't want to put too much on because I don't want to make it like susceptible to uh, what's it? Peremptory burning. I don't want it to burn because burnt croissants are no way now. You know, like those Spanish croissants. Actually, I have seen a lot of croissants in Spain, but they weren't very good. Don't tell the Spanish. And I have some leftover milk, so I'm gonna be like a cat and just do a call it a morning shot of milk, even though it's definitely not morning. So, just is it gonna be easy to drink out of? I don't know. <sighs> Tequila! Alright, so it says baked for 15 minutes. I have some experience with these things, and I know that they tend to, uh, they tend to get a little uh, singed a little quickly. I think it's because my oven is a tiny bit smaller than maybe the standard oven size. So heat uh, doesn't disperse as easily. I don't even know if that's real science. So instead of saying 15 minutes, be free, my babies. No, don't be free. Be baked, my babies. I'm gonna say 12 minutes. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 12 minutes and then pray that they haven't baked too much. 
Okay, okay, let's see what we're working with. Oh, well, hmm. Are they, do they look like they're done in the middle? That's my concern. golden. I'm gonna flip one. Can I flip one? Yeah. I'm gonna just, oh, I might crack it just to see what's in. Guys, help me decide. Is it cooked in the middle? Uh, yeah, actually. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, it's not super doughy. Let's see. Get better lighting. Ow, I just touched the pan. Okay, I'm gonna say it's done, and then the residual heat will continue to cook it. Okay, so the rule is 12 minutes, not 15. All right, should we try it? Yeah. Well, it's not bakery quality at all, but it'll do in a pinch. That lamination. It's not great. It's not actually. Now I'm kind of imagining other things that I could do with this. Not as croissant dough, but as something else. I don't know. I'll think about it. Ah, uh, trivia's in, and I'm on the phone with my mother. Say hi, mother. <laughs> Only like Father Ted. I don't think I've ever seen Father Ted. What? I've seen more Father Ted than you have. This must be redressed, Mother. You're the Irish nut. Yeah, but okay. Okay. Okay, but anyway, we're going to do trivia we're together. Not Father Ted, but I know, I, I'm fairly certain that I'm speaking truth when I say I've never seen it. Well, that's on you. If it's not on PBS, I'm, I wouldn't have seen it. You... Okay, so my mother has this thing about not streaming TV online because she's, like, a good Christian woman. Um, <laughs> no, because you have, like, morals and ethics and standards and all of that. Yeah, because you would go to jail. I just poked my eye. Uh, but I'm fairly certain there are full Father Ted episodes on YouTube. Are you okay with YouTube? I'm okay with YouTube. Check out YouTube. But after we do trivia, are you ready for trivia? I'm ready. Okay. Number one is a list question. It's called pull out before you blow it. <laughs> okay. 50% of all protein consumed on earth, 50%, comes from eight cereal grains. Wheat, corn, and rice are the big three. Name as many of the other five as you can for one point each, zero total, if you get any wrong. Oat. Oat. Rye. Rye cereal, though? Well, it's... Well, cereal. Yeah, cereal grains. Well, cereal, okay. So what did they say? Wheat, Wheat corn, corn, and, and rice. rice. So oat, I agree with you. But bran is the bran of... Is it? Is bran not its own thing? No, bran is the husk of the grain. Okay, so we're assuming that bran and wheat are the same thing and therefore bran doesn't count. I think so. Okay. So we've got oats. <laughs> uh, I'm so tempted to go look at my box of cereal back there and see what's in it. What about granola? So what's in granola? Flax? Seed? Chia seed, it could be. Chia seed's pretty popular right now. Okay. What else is in muesli? Uh, I don't know. I don't eat it. Oats, oh. mostly. I think it's oats and nuts. And honey. I don't know. Well, I, I think we have three solids. Yeah, I'm okay with those. Okay, number two. Some countries are divided into states. Some use provinces. What Western European country is divided into 26 cantons, including Lucerne and Glarus? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Germany. 
Just for clarification, what do you mean? I mean... <laughs> Which is Switzerland in French. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and support you in saying Switzerland. Okay, number three. Several types of hot peppers are named after what class of animal? Likely due to the fact that their tongues have no capsaicin receptors, making them the only creatures other than humans that will eat them. Hot peppers that are named after animals. Monkeys. Yeah, I just can't think. Uh, the only names of peppers that I can think of are ghost peppers, jalapeno, chipotle is a treatment of a jalapeno, adobo is a treatment of a pepper. I genuinely can't think of names of peppers. Do you got anything? Oh, it's, it's a goat because, you know, goats, they bring in flocks of goats to naturally cut back underbrush that's gone crazy because they'll eat goat? Goat pepper? Is there like a billy goat pepper or a... No, ghost. Like phantom. Oh, 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 oh. I thought you said G-O-A-T, not G-H-O-S-T. -E. No, ghost pepper is purportedly one of the hottest, if not the hottest pepper. Thinking habanero, but that does, that's not an animal. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just gonna say monkeys, because they're like similar enough genetically to us. That maybe their tongues are like our biology? I don't know. All right, the okay, shortest. I don't know that monkeys and goats overlap geography, but okay. Well, there's nothing to do with goats. You said goats. I did. <laughs> okay, number four. The shortest of the three Triple Crown thoroughbred races is run on Pimlico Racecourse in Baltimore. Name that race. Baltimore? Pimlico. I don't know. Pimlico, I only know from that movie with Haley something, um, The Trouble with Angels. There's like a throwaway line about Pimlico. Other than that, I would, I have no idea what it is. Okay, number five. Okay, what was it? Preakness. Preakness. That sounds like a fake alien name. Uh, what patriotic... What patriotic American song, which was originally titled America, is set to the same tune as the British song God Save the Queen? Da 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 to the I sing, right? Right. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrims, pride for every mount. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. Oh, wait, is it called Let Freedom Ring or To Thee I Sing? My country to the beat. Oh, it's the beginning. <laughs> okay, so we, it's the same song. I just forgot the beginning. Okay, shall we uh, fact check very quickly? We know my country tis of thee. That's fair. Let's Google the Pimlico race course is, uh, I'm getting Google Maps. You're right, Preakness. Preakness Stakes. Yay. Preakness Stakes. You got it. Good job, Mommy. Uh, I'm just going to Google hot pepper names and see if I can see a common theme. The big list of hot peppers. Oh, dear. This makes my mouth burn just thinking about it. Uh... Pepper X, Dragon's Breath, Carolina Reaper. I think that one might be the hottest one. I don't know. Scorpion. They might be Liz. Wait, there's one called the Scorpion. Scorpion, Komodo Dragon, Viper. Probably reptiles. It seems to be reptiles in a very general sense. Ghost Pepper. There's chocolate. What? Uh, but then there, there's so many that are called scorpion. 
I'm going to say it's either um, scorpion or reptiles. And I don't really care to look into it any further. Uh, okay, Switzerland, pretty sure we got. I'm just going to Google cereal grains. So n this one is the one I'm nervous about. Cereal grains. Okay. Oh, mother. Oh, no. You ready? Yeah. Okay, so wheat, rice, and corn are the three. The other five are oats, which we got, millet, sorghum, okay. which I used to think was pronounced sorghum. Uh, yeah, sorghum, yeah. I've never heard this word before. Triticale, 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 triticale. Okay, and rye. <laughs> so we said flax and chia, which were wrong, so we don't get any points. Man. Oh man, but we still got Switzerland, and we still got my country, tis of thee. So we got two out of a potential eight. Oh dear. Well, I have officially changed my top and put on some eye makeup, literally just eyeliner and mascara. And I'm taking my hair down. Ow. Um, cause it's Megan's birthday Zoom chat. Ugh, just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Yay! That was underwhelming. That was not worth it. Um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna celebrate virtually. Cause normally we would go out drinking, but number one, it's a Monday. And number two, we're not allowed to. Um, so I'm gonna go make a drink, and I'm probably not gonna record any of the actual uh, like, session, chat session, because Megan doesn't like being on camera that much, and I don't want to make her uncomfortable. What is this video called? <laughs> oh my god, is there video called? Oh my god, is there video Oh, it's frozen! <laughs> How anticlimactic! <laughs> context um we obviously couldn't celebrate Megan's birthday with her so we sent her um like individually we sent her like cards and, and whatnot but then also um we sent her a big balloon from all of us and it was like in a box just shipped there and then when you open the box it just kind of springs up out at you and we conspired with people that are hosting her right now to kind of like get the address without her knowing so she had no idea it was coming and then uh the the sneakiness was like she didn't know that she was going to be receiving anything so we were on a call and her friend was supposed to like just bring the box in while we were on the call then we started the call and she said like oh I sent him away so I could be with you guys and we we're like I can't deliver the box but then he got there later and it was all very funny but then it froze just as it was opening so what can you do but it was the it was the gesture happy birthday Megan well dinner is gonna be egg rolls plus cabbage that was about to go bad. I usually hate cabbage in most preparations, but I love it steamed. I don't know how that happens, but there you go. So I've just spent a good, I don't know, 20 minutes sweeping and picking every little thing up off the floor, uh, with some exceptions, like this can just hasn't found a home yet, so for now it's here. Uh, some things have had to go back onto the couch uh, temporarily, because I'm still trying to decide where to put them. This yarn. This is yarn. See? And I haven't decided if I'm going to put it away or if I'm going to try to start a project with it. I don't know yet. Uh, this <laughs> drying rack usually is not here. It's usually, if it's not using, if it's not holding up wet clothes, it's usually just kind of propped up here. But I've been using it uh, to hold up my lamp for my, hello, point the camera correctly, to point my lamp for Zoom sessions which usually take place here without the kisses. Well, maybe I might have a little kiss later. Uh, so I don't really want to put it away just yet. Uh, and obviously the rest of this, 
I'm still deciding this needs to be hung back up again but that's gonna happen when all of the other photos get hung up too in a couple of days uh, so there is vast improvement on the floor this is donatables that I can't get rid of yet because nothing's open my bag handbag that I haven't had to take out some slippers some plastic bags that I'm using for storage so there is a tiny bit of method to the mess to the madness of the mess that's left but it is if anyone <laughs> sees this place in its regular stage a vast improvement okie dokie it's like almost 11 so this face is gonna stop trying to find things to record I'm gonna enjoy a little nectarine before bed and wish you a good night